guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lizzie and I post a lot of beauty related content here on YouTube if they're the kind of videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below today's video is something fun because you all know how I love a lip swatching video well we are swatching all nine of the Revolution Pro lip liners. By now, you've probably seen me using them in videos. I absolutely love them. The formula is very creamy. I've also found that if I'm eating, they're usually still on around my line, my line, my lip line. So I love these already. So I'm a bit biased. I, I don't really have anything negative to say at this point. They did bring out nine shades to coat inside with the some new lipsticks that they brought out however this is the negative thing i have to say this is the fourth time revolution have brought these shades out i have all of these colors three times over so i did not buy the new lipsticks i'm so close to buying them because i want to try the new formula however the rockstar version of them i will just get them out and just show you there's a lot of mess over here so bear with me we have wait 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 this ain't even all of it okay this is one tray the original packaging back in the day i bought these oh did you oh, why why do this to me and you know you fight because you got up so that was the original then we have the second then we have the third. Now, not all the colours are in every single kind of packaging, but you've got most. Like cashmere, I've got twice. I've got rumba, twice. They're either two or three times some of these shades. Let's see, like struck, twice. So yeah, I didn't feel like buying the shades for the third or fourth time over this time. But we're going to test the liners and maybe I will show you them on my hand against the actual shade of lipstick too. So the first one that is on my lips, I actually have the shade Tease on with the Batman gloss over the top. This is the shade. I do like this shade. This is like a nice pinky shade. Obviously there is a gloss on top so it's hard to see what it looks like but... It's very much the same. I like it. So that is the shade Tease. And then what I'll do is I'll get the lipstick. Yes, I can still smell you. Don't worry, girl. Okay, well, this shade Tease, I've only got one version of it. And this is in the second and packaging. This is the Satin Matte Liquid, li uh, liquid Lipsticks. Um, lipsticks. Now, these are a little bit drying, I find. But yeah, I have to put it on top of the gloss. We've got the lip liner and the lipstick together. And that is what it looks like on my lips. Actually looks really nice against my skin. I like this shade. Definitely more of like the muted kind of pink shade. And also these come off. I'll show you one. Let's see. I was using one of these when I went. There we go. Comes off. That's why I'm tempted to see the new packaging. Because I have a feeling... They said it was magnetic, so I really want to try it, but at the same time, I'm like, do I really want to buy these shades for the third or fourth time? No. I haven't actually shown you what they look like up close. They're like leopard print, and they cost £5. I do like them, and they are retractable, which is good. And then they also come with a little sharpener at the bottom. For £5, I do like these. The next shade I want to show you is Stripped. More of a cooler tone shade right there. And then I will find the lipstick. I have it twice. I have it in the very old packaging and I have it in the Rockstar Pro packaging. So let's see if there's any difference. It's broken the little tube thing. Okay. They literally match. Okay, so that is stripped from the very old packaging. And then we'll get it out of the Rockstar Pro. This packaging, love it. The Rockstar are more creamy. Yeah, I'd say the Rockstar one's just a little bit darker, but they're basically the same shade. So this is stripped on the lips, definitely more cooler tone. I love this shade. I just wish it was a smidge darker. So I'm gonna try the old formula first on here. So that's it on the bottom lip. And then let's show you the top lip with the new formula. Maybe I should have just done half and half. Could you tell a difference? They basically look exactly the same. You know what this reminds me of this shade? Back in school when we all wanted really Barbie kind of pink lips. Well, cool tone lips. This is what that reminds me. So yeah, 
this is stripped now the next liner I want to show is cashmere which is one of their light nudes so that is that there right there is cashmere one here we go two thing of the bullet has fallen off so that is the old formula next to it completely same color i don't see a difference and then that is it creamy next to it i feel like it's exactly the same just a bit more shinier so i'm going to put the lip liner on quickly and then we'll do the same half and half i actually don't mind bottom lip and top lip um and see the difference so this is cashmere on the lips a very light brown for me i like it but i don't reach for cashmere as a lip liner too much I've noticed I've reached for the lipstick more so what we'll do is we'll put cashmere the old formula on the bottom lip oh I see this is why I like it as a lipstick and then the rock star on the top lip so much more creamier putting it on there we have it what do you guys think do you like cashmere I actually like this I think it looks really, really nice against my skin tone. The next shade I've got here is Rumba. I've used Rumba quite a bit as well, to be honest. This is more of like a darker brown than cashmere right there. This is why I reach for it quite a bit. And then let's see how much Rumba, or how many Rumbas I've got. We've got it in the second ever formula they did. I've only found it in one formula remember the second one are the new neutral satin matte the first one i don't know what it's called but the first one came in gold whereas the second one comes in like more pinky tone and it looks exactly like the liner this is the lip liner rumba i reach for this quite a lot to be honest i've only had these like a week maybe two weeks and i'm constantly reaching for them so now let's put the lipstick on it's just a little bit more richer than the liner and there we have it this is a lipstick combo i reach for quite a lot i love this shade this shade rumba oh my god the dark brown i just wish they had one shade darker than this and i would be set literally set such a lovely shade the next shade we have here is Reveal, so this is more like peachy toned it looks like. I don't know how this will come out on my lips, but it is a deep peach tone which I like. Then let's see how many lipsticks we have in the shade Reveal. One in the second packaging, just the one, which I feel is a little bit liner, lighter than the liner. There it is there. This shade is perfect for summer, I feel like. It's a nice, like, peachy shade. This is what it looks like just as the lip liner. All right, let's put the lipstick on. Again, <laughs> broken. These ones are just not as creamy as the Rockstar ones. What do you think? I think I am too tanned for the shade on its own. I would rather it with, like, a darker lip liner. Um, but I do like it. I just, I would rather a dark lip liner. Okay, we've got four left let's see all right let's go for the shade struck it's like a bright pink kind of color right there and let's see how many lipsticks we have to match one again okay this one the bullet isn't broken it looks exactly like the liner exactly the same I actually really like this color I think I used this on my birthday with it was one of the new matte bombs in fuchsia something i used this liner at one stage i do like this and now let's put the lipstick on i've got so many out is it struck trying to find it is difficult perfect match see this is why i collect makeup and don't throw it away or sell it on because i can do videos like this where i can just show you what i found and how many lipsticks are the same do you like this combo or do you like this combo i love it i freaking love this color this with like really pink cheeks and a pink monochromatic eye oh i could see this i could see this happening all right the next liner we have is stiletto this is like a red shade i'm just going all down my arm aren't i all right there we go there's the liner let's see how many stilettos i find i thought i was gonna find more than this to be fair i have one in the first ever formula there we go that is it there i think it's a perfect match it's a lovely red so i can't wait to throw that on and then we've got two liners left guys two 
This is Stiletto, it's lovely, it's not patchy because I feel like when you get to shades that are a little bit darker or brighter, they start getting patchy. Not at all. It's really nice, really creamy. My lips are so dry, yet it's managed to get on my lips without drying them even more. I'm so happy with this one. Now let's put the lipstick on. And the thing is, these lipsticks are really drying, so this is gonna be fun. And there's the color difference. So once it's on your lips, the liner looks a bit more pink and the lipstick's more red, but it's a stunning red, like proper, proper stunning red. I would love to wear this on days where I know I'm not eating anything really messy. This would be a great, great color. And I feel like my teeth don't look yellow. Uh, I love it and even though these lipsticks are drying it's all working together to make sure my lips don't feel too dry in so the penultimate which I believe means the one before the last shade is velvet I believe this is a shade that I actually do love and I'm just gonna pull it here that is the shade there it's another kind of orangey brown kind of shade I love it this is a shade that I reach for again, so let's just whack it on my lips. No, let's see how many velvets I've got. I found one, two. So we've got it in the Rockstar formula and the first ever formula that they did. Let's see. There is a definite colour difference there. Velvet here is more of like an orangey brown, but velvet as a lipstick is more like a pinky shade. Hmm, interesting. Now the lipstick won't go down. These bloody lipsticks, man. So the Rockstar one is the closest to the actual shade, I feel. Yes, it's definitely much closer. I've put it here now. So creamy. This is gonna be fun testing out both on top and bottom lip. I am so confused by this color. I'm sorry, this colour does not look the same as it does on my hand, on my lips. I really feel like it looks different or is it because it's sheared out a little bit? I'm so confused, like look how brown it looks there. Is it me? Am I colour blind? I feel like it looks more pink on my lips, maybe I've got too many lipsticks that I've been wearing, I don't know. Something's not right. Anywho, let's try this. Let's try the old formula. It looks, I'm, I'm confused guys, I really am. We're gonna put the new formula on my top lip. Guys, what is going on? Does it look the same to you? It doesn't look the same to me. There's something not right here. Okay, well this is the Shea Velvet. Guys, you might be able to pick up in the comments, maybe I've done something wrong, but I don't know, I really don't. It's a gorgeous shade on, but I just don't feel like it looks, actually it kind of does. Mm, it's getting there. Anywho, last shade, vamped. I think I'm just going color blind at this point. Ooh, there it is. It's a nice dark burgundy kind of red. And then I have one color of vamped in the old, old formula. And it looks exactly the same. So let's just throw that on my lips and then I will tell you the lipsticks that don't have a liner because there's one from the old range, three from the second range and three from the new range that don't have a liner. This color on the lips, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Nice, rich, deep kind of burgundy shade. And there we have it, last shade. Love this shade. Okay, so from the old formula, we've got Thirst, which is a shade that they don't have a liner for. And that is what it looks like there. And then from the second range, we have three shades that they don't have liners for, Undress, Latte, and Plush. I'll swatch them for you. Undress is a bit like rumba. Hmm, bit peach, but a bit paler than rumba. Oh, latte looks like a nice cool tone brown, which it's a little bit lighter than the shade here, which I can't remember. No, it wasn't rumba, it was reveal, which was the peach one. So rumba is the dark brown over here, which that one is similar to. And then plush. Oh, plush is a nice deep brown shade. Oh, 
that is nice a liner in that shade gorgeous now we have three rockstar lipsticks that do not have a lip liner too so one of them is passion nice red shade now we have fever which again is a nice dark kind of pinky brown like you know with purple undertones and lastly we have joy oh nice brown i like that shade joy there right at the bottom there that is lovely first i want to talk about the liners they're five pounds so they're pretty affordable um they're very creamy however i've noticed that they do stay on the lips because whenever i've eaten there has been a line where the lip liner is and that's not because the food hasn't hit there because let's just say i'm a messy eater there's a nice shade range i'd say i do feel like i'm missing like a nice dark rich brown and maybe no i'd say there's a nice color selection i'm very confused by velvet because it looked very different on the lips than it does on my arm it might be because i've swatched a lot of them um and then put concealer on dried my lips who knows what it could have been but i really really did love these liners and i love the packaging so i really hope you guys did enjoy this video really really <laughs> um if there's a shade that really caught your eye let me know and let me know what you think about these ranges because they're very very similar aren't they but um yeah i will catch you in my next one bye mm -hmm.